<laughs> so I guess you could say these young ladies have a legacy to live up to. Yes, and the team, one of the best in the state, and for good reason. Now, when it comes to girls high school soccer in North Dakota, one of the teams to beat is Century High. They have won two out of the last three state titles and are chasing perfection this season. Led by a core group of seniors, this week we put two of them in the sports spotlight. Girls soccer at Century High has a growing reputation. This season, being the defending state champions and undefeated going to state, there's more than just soccer on the line. There's always pressure being Century High School. There's always pressure being a defending state champion. There's definitely the pressure of we're undefeated and we have a draw on our name. So um, the pressure going to the state, I think the girls are kind of thriving off of it. Our program's kind of thrived off of it. Part of that thriving success is from two seniors that have been around the game since elementary school. Well, I actually lived overseas when I was little, and soccer is huge overseas. And so um, in like first grade, kindergarten, in the little playground, you know, I started there and then my parents put me in the little leagues and then I've just been playing ever since. Maybe like third grade, second grade, um, my mom was actually an All-American, so she kind of got me started out on it. And um, my parents have been really supportive, my brother plays, so kind of just grew up with it and grew up around the sport. Scoring goals and winning have been part of the regular routine in the last two seasons. But these two haven't always shared team chemistry. We were actually like rivals for a really long time because we went to different schools for a while and then um, weren't friends at all, saw each other around school, weren't really fond of each other. Probably I'd say freshman year we started hanging out a little bit and playing and we realized that we just could probably become best friends and it's awesome because Obviously, she's so short and I'm so tall, so it's kind of awkward, but it's a lot of fun and I really love her. As a friendship grew, so did their game on the field. They have different roles that mix together for success. Joanna brings a big physical presence and size on the pitch. She plays in that center target role for us. She always draws at least two defenders to her, which is great because it opens up those players like Lily and Alexa and Tara to be isolated one-on-one -on, -one on the flank stuff really apply our game style. With the school year complete, winning another state title is what separates them from summer break. But it's the little things that they will miss the most. We all like, grew up together and we all know each other, so that's fun. Definitely just being a Patriot. I mean, our Century Girls program is so strong and that's definitely something I'm gonna miss. Uh, definitely playing here at the bowl and probably most of all just the girls because we're all kind of spreading out and going our separate ways. Separate ways is right. Lily is headed to the University of Montana to continue to play soccer next fall, and Joanna is going to the University of Minnesota on academic scholarship. Century and Red River kick off the state tournament tomorrow 